What's up, Internet? I'm Chimera Complex, and we're doing something a little bit different today. I am bad at Morrowind. So I've had a little bit of an absence. A few things happened. I uh, won't get into it uh, during this video, but um, we're going to we're going to change. We're just going through a, a little bit of a transition here, change of pace, and uh, we're returning, uh, as my sibling said, to an old friend. Uh, the loving, warm embrace of one of the best computer RPGs ever. Uh, this game came out in 2002, and 20 years later, it still holds up. So uh, I've got a few mods installed. So uh, those of you who are familiar with the vanilla or base game, we're going to see some few. Going to see a few differences, um, but. Uh, you know, we can talk about that in the comments if you're interested in finding out more. Uh, so we're going to create a brand new character. And I'm just going to play through it like an actual RPG. I'm not going to do any kind of power gaming. I may do some, uh, you know, I may pull a few tricks out, out of my sleeve but uh, here and there. But for the most part, we're just going to do this as though we're playing it together for the very first time. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? What you just saw there, what I clicked on, was an alternate beginnings mod. Um, I may do that with a different character, just to play around with it, but we're just going to do the standard vanilla intro um, for the time being. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Good old Jib. Quiet. Here comes the guard. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Whoa. Come with me. This is where you get off. Come with me. Can't even jump right now. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Got a bit of an expansion for Satan in here. You finally arrived, but our, but our records, records don't, don't show, show from, from where. where. I don't know what mod I have that did that. He ugly. Let's go with the vanilla face. Yeah, that'll work. So I've got um, a race mod that kind of modifies the passives um, and the uh, powers a little, a little bit. Not, not too tremendous uh, of a change. Just a little bit. Good 
Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Who's this guy? Jean Monnier. Huh. It's cute. Ah, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the, the choice, choice is yours. I'm going to do a custom class. This is going to be a little bit boring. I've got a very specific vision for this character in mind. Um... Probably going to be installing a few mods in between playthroughs. Um, one thing I neglected to install was a mod that converts some um, most medium armors to heavy armor, some medium armors to light armor, and eliminates the medium armor skill entirely because medium armor uh, apparently doesn't work too well in uh, this particular Elder Scrolls game. I never even really noticed a difference, but there are like some minor things like the best medium armor in the game is somehow weaker or not not as potent as the best light armor in the game that's just one example so um i'll be fixing that but um so you're gonna see me do weird stuff like um equipping medium armor even though i have like the heavy armor skill little things like that Combat strength and endurance. Gonna do 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 do. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And, and what, what would, would that, that be? be? Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> Finishing off a drink here for my lunch. And that was a little bit loud. All right. So the um, same mod that um, I have that modifies the races also modifies the birth signs. Um, adds a little bit of uh, magicka and I think fatigue regeneration. Um, I haven't really used magicka yet since installing the mod, so I don't know how balanced or imbalanced that particular mod is. Um, really, I just kind of use mark and recall and... Um, the intervention spells mostly for my combat characters. I haven't really messed with Magicka in a very long time.
probably going to go with this one. That's a good one, too. Um, I like the small bonuses that I get to uh, to the armor. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Uh, yep. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Continue through to the next building and talk to Salus Gravius. This, um, this section of the building was kind of designed to, like, teach you to, like, take everything that isn't nailed to the ground. But uh, I'm not really going to do that. Take that. I will take that. I'll take that because it's got some value to it. But, uh... First, let me take a look at your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached, my, reached me yesterday. I am Celus Gravius, but my background is not important. I am here to welcome you to Morrowind. And I guess I'm all like, Morrowind? Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here, or why you were released from prison and shipped here. But your authorization comes all directly from Emperor Ural Septim, uh, the something or other th himself. And I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are free. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor. So pay careful attention. <laughs> you said duty. That package on the table came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cassades in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius Cassades. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you. Add it to your inventory. Okay, I'm not going to go through every single dialogue option. I'm listening. Package for Caius Cassades. Bye, bitch. All right, so I got a character leveling mod. Um, changes the way that I level up. So, um, in the vanilla game, you have major skills, minor skills, and miscellaneous skills. Um, and you saw me pick those. Major skills and minor skills um, normally would give you uh, experience points towards your level. So when you level up, um, any major and any combination of major or minor skills 10 times, uh, you then level up and based on the skills that you increased during that level, you'll get a choice to add bonuses to your primary attributes, strength, intelligence, stuff like that. The governing attributes is what they're referred to as in this game. Um, the mod that I installed, what it actually does instead is uh, as I increase my skills, 
my um, my governing attributes will naturally grow uh, all on their own, and my level will um, naturally grow uh, with that. So um, I'm not going to have any level up screens. I'm not going to need to like rest and meditate on what I have learned. I will constantly learn and grow uh, as I progress through the game. So I won't have to, you know, distribute uh, any kind of points or anything like that. So we're not going to level fast. Don't want to level slowly. We'll just do the standard. Um, don't need companions. Don't need hookers. Yes, we're going to have... Um, this is part of the Morrowind Comes Alive mod. So what it's going to do is add random NPCs. All over the place. I'm gonna have packs of bandits accosting me on the road. Gonna see uh, random like drunkards st stumbling through town, um, hostile drunks in taverns and stuff like that. I'm gonna have to go like hand to hand and beat them up. If I kill them, I'll still get I'll catch a murder charge. But um, if I knock them out, then the combat ends. So I think that's a pretty nice touch. We're gonna have more. Hostile, respawning hostile NPCs in caves and ruins. Abandoned attacks in town, yes. Hostile Ashlanders, yeah, I think that's um, lore friendly. Brigands and Highwaymen, yep. And we're going to have packs of 2 to 10. Um, No, no, I'll tone that down. 2 to 5. Okay. This is a new game. So that spam um, just has to do with the way that my stats are uh, currently set and distributed. They um, act differently with this mod. What is this about, Orc? What about your ring? I'll be getting that back. Glory Master. and honor, Emperor and Empire. Can you ask yes. your question quickly? Honor, to be sure. I'm listening. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, we caught a rumor that he's that on your way. Riskar here has some uh, financial troubles. Gonna recover some gold. You look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. You see, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for. Protection. So he's just a thug. I guess, um, running a racket or whatever. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher, Fargoth. He's come up like the past couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little fetcher's got one somewhere in town. Just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold. If you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? I'll do it. Excellent. Here's what I need you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. 
Watch his movements. The best vantage point is top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of all Sedanine. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Alrighty. I'm going to do a little uh, double crossing here, actually. So the lighthouse is over there. And he does wanders around at night in the middle of the day, you want obviously. Something, so. friend? <laughs> the Satanine slums. A little expansion that I added. Um, kind of add some buildings over here, as you can see. Don't really have a reason to go over there yet, so I'm not really uh, going to explore it. I am, however, going to take this axe. Not sure if this is a retexture or not. It's been a very long time since I've played the vanilla uh, modless version of the game. So now we're gonna wait. It's 11 a.m. So let's go to one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try 7 p.m. don't think it's late enough so we're gonna wait another two hours there we go now I got a mod that was supposed to eliminate references to slaves with the exception of essentially rich Dunmer or plantation owners but apparently that mod is not working right now Do not see Fargoth. I thought I heard something. I wonder if my Satanine expansion has broken this particular quest. Give it another hour. Oh, there he is. Cool. And, oh yeah, I've got a uh, sneaking realism. Sneaking works different with this add-on. I'm not entirely sure exactly what all it does. I know that it um, attaches uh, bonuses and penalties based on the equipment that you are wearing and whether or not you've got a weapon out and stuff like that. Um, it also modifies the stats a little bit. Uh, in sneak mode versus non-sneak mode. Um, I'm not quite sure how that math works out, but essentially it... Um, what it boils down to is it makes luck a much more important stat for sneaking and pickpocketing in particular. So, it's not going to matter much for this particular character, though. He's not going to be sneaky. I'm only sneaking right now because... Uh, ow. Ow. Because I'm watching this guy. Yeah, that's messed up pathing, but that's the uh, Satanine expansion's fault, not uh, the pathing's fault.
Now, what you're supposed to do here is you get to keep the ring and then you, you give Riskar the 300 gold and he just gives you like a hundred of it. I'm just going to keep it. Like there's no reason to go back to Riskar. I mean, he's a, you know, he's, he's a gangster anyway. Like he shakes people down for money. And so I'm not going to, you know, entertain him any more than I have to. I'm just going to keep that money. Let's ask other people for some rumors. Yes, Orc? There's a uh, cave nearby. I don't want to do a whole lot of metagaming. I did with that axe, obviously. And I'm doing some metagaming by keeping the gold, but... The gold thing is kind of a uh, more of a uh, decision based on logic from what we've already learned uh, at this very early stage in the game. But there's a cave nearby that's got some bandits in it, and I don't want to go in there, you know, with out of character knowledge. In this case, I want to like, I want to get a, a rumor from somebody. There's somebody here that will give you a rumor that points you to that cave. I just don't remember if it's based on their disposition towards me or if it's just randomly comes up in conversation. Yep, that's a rumor that we can follow up on. Um... He's over there. Let me just keep mm -hmm. talking about rumors here. The Nine and the Empire, citizen. Yes, Orc? What do you want? Hmm. Seems like this is a little dark. I mean, it's not for me, but, um... Looking to see if I can improve the uh, the brightness on this video for for you guys. And I'm not seeing anything. Might be a filter that I'm going to need to play around with uh, some other time. For now, I've got the gamma correction up. Uh, for me, it, it's kind of bright now. Um, We'll uh, come back to that. You know what? I think, uh, yeah. So, I'm probably going to link um, my siblings' channel to uh, kind of reflect where, I, where I'm drawing inspiration from these series of videos. 
Um, he's talk he was talking about a few things um, that I'll probably repeat here. One of the things that's significant to us as a family, these Kwama foragers, there is a pastry dessert treat um, known as uh, cream horns that we always called Kwama foragers because it's what cream horns look like to us. Um, and that came from our mother who has, who had a very special place in her heart for Morrowind. It was one of the few video games that the three of us could enjoy together as a family. So tech collector is dead and uh, I used a little metagaming to find him but also not really like I could have just you know again logic based I was just looking for the tax collector that was rumored to have disappeared and what happened there I don't remember killing this guy So we're going to head back here. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yes, Outlander? I'm listening. I'm listening. I go in here. Is it locked? It's locked. Do you seek an audience with me? No. I'm gonna do a quick save because sometimes guards do wander here. Hey. The murder of Rock Processus Vitellius. Murdered? What a waste. Processus was a good man. I had been wondering why he hadn't why we hadn't heard from him in the last few days. Still, these are dangerous times we live in, and these sorts of things will happen. Did you happen to find the tax money he'd collected? I'd hate to be so callous, but I have, I do have a job to do. Let me... Do a little bit of research here. I'm going to do some metagaming here because I think that depending on my choices, I'm either going to end up with either just the 200 symptoms I found or a whole lot more um, based on my choice. Okay. All right. So I'm going to tell him, yes, I found 200 septums on his body. You did? How odd that he was murdered but not robbed. Your honesty is appreciated. I can tell you that. I won't forget this, Magrol. In fact, if you're looking for some money for yourself, I'd like to see the murderer of Processus punished. 
Killing an emperor's tax collector is punishable by death. Find his murderer, bring him to justice, and the census and excise office will pay 500 septims. Alright, just typing away here. Alright, 200 gold has been removed from your inventory. Let's see here. Hope you'll bring that murderer to justice soon. Do you seek an audience with me? Oh, I can't go out that way. Oof. Yikes. Alrighty. So I'm going to start asking around about the murder of Processus Vitellius. Greetings, Orc. How can I help you? Da -da 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 -da. Mm, little secret. Uh, I'm not a marksman, so that doesn't apply to me. Dude, let's do a regular guard. Murder of Processus Vitellius. The one finally got him, huh? Well, it's no surprise, I suppose. No one likes a tax collector, especially one who flaunts his wealth while taking our hard-earned cash. Only one who could stomach him at all was... Um, that person. Over in the lighthouse. The two of them spent some time together. Shame, really. She seemed like a nice woman. Wow, misogyny much? Alright. The so, Nine and the Empire, citizen. My sibling, who... What is this um, regarding, Orc? Again, I'm going to be talking about frequently in my videos. Uh, very early on in her... Uh, I got distracted there. Very early on in uh, the gameplay that I will be providing a link to, should I remember to. Um, my sibling... Kill her. Brand, what do you want? So, they aren't going to be able to complete this mission or this quest ever. It's of little consequence now because they are stupid high level and stupid rich. But for a uh, brand new uh, character, this is kind of a chunk of change. Uh, let's see here. Processus murdered? No. Tell me it's not so. He was the gentlest man I've ever met. He and I had become so close in the past few months. I don't know what I will do without him. I've only seen him get angry once or twice and never raised a hand to anyone. This is so sad. You've seen him get angry? Well, not even angry, I suppose. I saw him arguing once with foreign Gilneth about his taxes. He thought Processus had been levying too much and skimming off the top for himself. Ridiculous. Processus wouldn't have done such a thing. I'm sure of it. Please find out what happened, friend. And if you find out what becomes of per Processus's ring, it would ease my heart. Processus's ring? I gave him the ring many months ago, and it was dear to him. I would like to remember him. I would like it to remember him by. All right, so we're going to be looking for this dude's shack. Oh. I fall down. All right, so this is vanilla. I'm not even going to bother looking in the expansion area. So it's somewhere one of these. Nope. Actually, this is a new vendor. I want to see what they've got to offer. Where's that Outlander, what do you want? That's weirdly a lot of stuff for... someone peddling wares from a stand made out of sticks. 
it's one of the reasons why in the past I've, I avoided settlement expansions because like the the mod developers would like put these weird almost cheaty kind of features into it um that just didn't make any logical sense um or even like lore sense but um oh here's our guy but yeah like it just i don't know it just always bothered me so wealth beyond measure outlander wealth beyond these nuts what can I do for you? Murder of Processus Vitellius. That's my orc voice, by the way, if you haven't figured that out yet. That Fetcher, you're damn right I did him in. And a good thing, too. He was skimming a load of money from all us honest people, overcharging us on our taxes and keeping the difference for himself. He was always flaunting his money around, showing off his new clothes and jewels. So I killed the bastard and left his body out there to rot with his ill-begotten gold still on him. Do, 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 do. Sorry, that's no excuse for murder, and your punishment has been decided. You're one of them, huh? Come to kill me? Well, give it your best shot, orc. I've got no problem spilling more of the blood of the Emperor's lackeys. Goodbye. Let's make sure I got my thing equipped. All right, let's there do this. No escape. That is not a weapon. That is a lockpick. Let's try that again. Oof. I used to grind my hand to hand up on this guy. Oh boy. Die, Fetcher. I've also got a first-person mod if you haven't figured that out yet. All it does is um, it just allows you to see the third-person animations while in first-person mode. So adds a level of a level of realism and immersion that I can appreciate. <laughs> but yeah, leveling up hand-to-hand -hand on this guy normally takes ages. And what I would do is I would, I would, you know, punch at him and punch at him until I knocked him out. And then I would go out and rest and my fatigue and his fatigue would be healed up. And then I'd do it all over again until like it got to a point where like I was just hitting him every single time. Ooh, he just knocked Yo me out. In my... <laughs> Oof. <laughs> you in wow. You in Waha. This is probably going to take a while, so <laughs> I'm going to get this guy down and uh, I'll come back to you guys in our next episode. Later.